This is Sanity for Sweden. I think it's a good name. It's growing on me. You know? It's better than I expected because I realize more and more that this is exactly what I'm looking for. Signs of sanity in this suffering country, you know, suffering from insanity. Yeah, good name. <laughs> yeah. And here's the sign. It's a good sign. The, you know, the police, they've been told by our socialist government that they had a responsibility to hide descriptions of uh, perpetrators, especially rapists. Yeah, this socialist government had very high thoughts of themselves. Uh, they want the people to uh, remain tolerant, right? And uh, so they hide the truth from the citizens. What were you thinking? It's so stupid. I don't. I don't believe it. It makes me pissed off. So they told the police to hide the descriptions. Yeah, very very smart. And now, the Nazi party of Sweden, the Sweden Democrats, is now the the biggest party according to this last poll. So it's not working. They wanted the Swedes not to be able to know what's going on. Well, here is a sign of uh, sanity because now the police in Dalarna, it's a region close to Norway, up in the north, northwest from Stockholm. Uh, they had a case and they wrote this, they announced this. It was a young woman that was exposed of an attempted rape. This was on the 14th of June, just a few days ago, at uh, 11 p.m. Alright? And uh, here's a description of this guy. The man had, before the attempted rape, rape been standing there. You know, this was by a lake. He's been standing there fishing. Yes, and uh, he was of a foreign background, he looked like people from the Middle East, this is what they say. He talked Swedish with an accent, he was about 30 years old, 175 centimeters long, tall, and with a thin body type, had short black hair and a full beard, and was groomed. Uh, it was dressed in a black t-shirt with white text on the chest, grey shorts down to his knees, like bathing shorts, and a dark backpack where he kept his fishing rod. And he was uh, transporting himself with a blue-grey bicycle. This is excellent. It wasn't so hard, was it? I wonder what the management, the police management, are talking about now. And if, if this has changed now, I don't know. Well, that's what we need. We need to know what they look like, because now people can look for this guy. It's that simple. If he looks Finnish or Canadian or whatever, just tell us, Asian, Tell people what the guy looks like. Don't be a stupid asshole. We want to get rid of this socialist government. Right, and we want to, I want to get rid of them very badly. Because it, it's also, the, they cause some strange ideas in this society. They create some very strange attitudes. Yeah. Alright, see you.